Hey, it's me again, Dr. J behind the mask. Today we're going to be talking about popular surgeries for the spring. Coming right up. Popular surgery during the spring, of course, number one is breast implants. You want to get out on the lake, you want to be in your pool, you want to be out and about with maybe a tank top, maybe even those uh, cool yoga bra kind of things. So now you want something to be able to place in the bra. So what we're doing is we're doing a lot of gummy bear implants that are high profile from both companies, Mentor and Allergan. What I like about them is that they're, they're they're kind of low width, but high projecting. So you're getting somewhere between five and six centimeters of projection or roughly about three inches. That should put most people in the C to double D. Liposuction, hugely popular, especially uh, amongst just very fit and active people and people just looking for a jump start. Very, very popular for the spring. We use liposuction plus smart lipo or liposuction plus AccuTiter body type. Three. Tummy tuck. Of course, get your tummy tuck in before you go on your trip. You'll need about four to six weeks advance notice so that you can heal up. But that completely reshapes your from your, up to your xiphoid area all the way down to the sides and including the mons area. And that gives you a beautiful hourglass shape. So tummy tucks are awesome. Uh, we also like to do mommy makeovers. There's a combination of breast and tummy. Again, you need about four to six weeks before your trip to get something like that done. But that gets it over in one fell swoop. A real, real rising uh, procedure for the spring is BBLs, Brazilian butt lifts. I don't know why they call it a Brazilian butt lift. It's not really a butt lift. It's a butt filling that actually helps to lift the skin, but it's not a true butt lift. So BBLs are hugely popular. Uh, people start to refresh in their, the top of their face because you can't really do much of uh, stuff on your face when there's sun out. So get it done now before the sun comes out, including by limit to neck lifts, face lifts, chemical peels, laser resurfacing, microneedling, and or adding exosomes to the face. Hair replacement. Now I've been doing exosomes to my hair as well as uh, lasering and I'm starting to fill in a little bit of the gaps and it's doing well without a hair transplant, although I do hair transplant myself. It was wonderful, wonderful talking to you guys. Thanks for hearing behind the mask with Dr. J.